So basically, I wanted to touch one more time on the tranny and the little boy getting maced on the subway before I let it die forever. So here you go. So yesterday, you know, I saw the video about the tranny mace and the little boy, and I actually saw it um, through through Facebook through a friend of mine. He had saw it first, and then he uh, shared the link with me. Now. Even when I saw the title, I already thought it was funny. I'm like, Tranny makes a little boy. Like, oh, this shit's gonna get crazy, you know. So, I watched the video. If you've seen my actual response to the video, I find it to be, how you say, fucking hilarious. And then, you know, I posted my video response and that's it. And so, but I'm like, that can't be it though. So, I'm like, I gotta, you know, spread this shit amongst people who, you know, you always got that friend who really doesn't watch YouTube or videos like that. So I'm like, okay, I got to show everybody, you know, whatever. And so I'm showing some people, and it's like all, like, uh, some of the responses were just like this, like, cry me a river kind of shit. It's like, oh, well, that's messed up because he a little boy, and they shouldn't have did that, and blah, blah, blah. So let me explain something to you people out there. Or actually, you know what? Let me explain it to you, little boy who got maced, because you probably watching this shit. If you grown enough to, to talk grown man shit to a grown man or <laughs> arguably a grown woman, but to an adult, if you grown enough to do that, then you're clearly grown enough to watch YouTube videos on your own. Now that said, that little boy needs to be Happy his little ass got made. You know why? Because trannies will cut you. Okay? A tranny will cut you. It is a known fact. It's not a, a an opinion. I'm not making this up. It is a fact that a tranny will cut you. Okay? Everybody knows trannies keep a blade up under their tongue or a knife in their boot or like axes and shit in their ass crack. I don't know. But they keep knives on them and they will cut you. I'm not even speaking from experience. It's just legend like like, 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 okay, vampires die in the sunlight, and then right up underneath there, everybody knows that trainees carry blades on. <laughs> like, even if you're, like, like a mild-mannered, like, you're like a part-time trainee, like, you, like, work for, like, a big Fortune 500 company, you're a CEO, and then, like, all through the week, your name is, like, Steve, and then, come the weekend, your name turns to Nina Fabulous. You will cut somebody. That's the nature of the beast, nature of being a trainee. It is what it is. So, you lucky little boy that you got off that train crying instead of coming off that train bleeding. Okay? And so, people are like, though, like, well, would it be funny if that was your son? Is that funny? Like, and I say no. No. Not no, it wouldn't be funny if that was my son. No, as in, I refuse the entire premise of me being in that situation. It wouldn't be my son. You know why? Because I'm not going to let my son fucking go back and forth with a tranny on the train. You want to know why? Because I know trannies will fucking cut him. Okay? <laughs> I don't want to get cut. I don't want him to get cut. Plus, he's a kid. And that's kind of the thing that people got to keep in mind, too, is if his mother's letting him come out of a child's place and to come into that, like, that, uh, that grown arena... Then you got to deal with grown man consequences, man. I mean, <laughs> you know, like I said, little blood couldn't have been no more than six, maybe seven years old, something like that. And told him, her, or whatever, you need to tuck your balls in. Now that's funny. That's funny to say, period, at any age. Tucking your balls in is some funny shit. It's funnier because he likes six. That makes it funny to say. But then that's also where the problem is because he likes six. Like, Little Blood, I mean. <laughs> oh, man. Little Blood had to learn a hard lesson that day. It's, it's like, you know how they say, like, when keeping it real goes wrong and all of that. That wasn't even like what happened when keeping it real goes wrong. It just was like. What happens when motherfuckers keep it real? <laughs> and it was, it was real, it was raw, and it was in your face. Literally. <laughs> so, what have we learned from this whole ordeal, people? Well, 
one, it's probably not a great idea to let your kids, you know, talk shit to a tranny on the train. So if you ever get on the train with your kids, or shit, even you yourself, you ever get on the train and you see a tranny, let it go, okay? <laughs> Especially if it's their birthday. <laughs> if it's their birthday, fucking, I don't know, best wishes and walk away because that ain't what you want. Two, we've learned that trannies on their birthdays will get it in however. So, you know, think about that. And of course, what we've learned here today, three, most importantly, fuck one and two. You don't need that. Fuck that. Most importantly, a tranny will cut you. Okay. So if you're ever thinking about going up to a tranny and talking shit, oh, you're a fag, whatever. Protect your fucking neck because you're gonna get cut. They cut fucking give you the why so serious. Just, ah. So leave them trained alone, people. Just go about your business. It's not your problem, okay? Now take this knowledge and go forth amongst the masses, alright?